Hi everyone, this is Pat, and the message that I have tonight for you, I have entitled, Jesus Loves Me, um, but let me um, pray for our time. Father, thank you very much, uh, because that is so true, even really young kids learn that song very, very early, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, and I know it because your word has indeed told me that I am loved by the Lord. But I also know it in my heart that you have done this for me, and I'm grateful for that. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hi again. So the message tonight is Jesus loves me. And the Bible verse is from John, John 14, verse 21. And it says, um, Whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. Uh, I always loved that verse um, when I first found it. Um, and I knew I wanted to memorize it as soon as I found it, you know. Whoever has my word and obeys them. You know, it's an amazing thing about having um, the Word of God is that because I have come to Jesus, because I know that His blood has paid the payment for my sins, and I am His and He is mine, I know that um, today. Um, His Spirit lives in me, and it's that Spirit that actually helps me to be obedient. Um, I don't have to fight anymore, um, that when I find that rebellion kind of welling up on the inside, I have to remind myself it is um, the flesh, and I'm not my flesh. Um, I am a new redeemed person. The Bible says that um, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So I'm new. I'm a brand new person, even though I've been walking with the Lord, you know, for over 30 years. But I am new. I'm a brand new person. I've been born again. But um, And I learned all that, actually, in the Word of God, and I started sensing the presence of God as I was in his word and I started believing the love that he has for me. But, you know, some people that I encounter, they will never open a Bible and some of them will never enter a church. And so um, their connection with God um, might only come through the Christ they see in me. Um, therefore, I want to cooperate with the Spirit it indwells me, and I want the Spirit to have His way with me. Um, wherever I am and whatever I am doing, I want the Spirit to have His way with me. So I want to interact with people in a loving and meaningful and sincere way. That's my prayer, that I want to do that way. And so I don't want to lose sight of the fact that um, I give that way. I'm better at giving that way when I give from the overflow of what God has put into me, the love that he has put into me. And so I don't want to ever go back to feeling like I'm not loved by God. That's such a lie. I want to bring my mind back to truth every day. So I do um, consciously ask the Lord. I thank him for, you know, um, giving me life, and I thank him that I know that he is my Savior and my Lord. Um, and so I get into his word very early. Um, and I know this about myself. I have a history of uh, besetting sin. You know, the Bible talks about um, certain sins that we do over and over again. I have that besetting sin with food. And I know that the devil waits for me to let go of my guard 
regarding this, um, the food in that area. This is why I give my food issues over to the Lord. You know, he has my food issue. Um, and this is what he has taught me. He has taught me um, to be grateful for the willingness and the strength um, to be very disciplined with my food. Um, it's not a hardship. It is not a hardship, and I don't even let my mind go there. It's not. And I'm grateful, <laughs> grateful that I'm at that place because um, this is what I know about emotional overeating um, and about the obsession, you know, even when I wasn't eating emotionally, overeating, I could have, I could have that obsession about my body image, and my appearance, and that type of thing. I call it mind altering now because what happens is that I'm not really there. If I'm really into my overeating, or if I would be, but I haven't been. By God's grace, I have not been that way for 33 years. But I struggled for many years before that. Um, as I've said before, you know, I'm 71 when I make this. So, you, you know, you can do the math. You can see that I had more years into the food than I have, you know, not being in the food. And so um, I don't want to become dull in my thinking. I don't. I don't want to be inhibited um, by that. I don't. Um, by the food. I don't want to be irritable because that was the other thing that happened. You know, when I was in the food, mm, irritable, irritable. And I don't want to be that way. And so I do. I follow the guidelines that God has given to me. Um, I have Christ-centered food recovery. That means that um, I take care of my physical food, but I take care of the emotional and spiritual food. The Bible says that we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's Matthew 4.4. 4. And so he's kept me clean. I said for 33 years, I have not been in the food for 33 years. Um, through a lot. Um, and I know it's only the Lord. Um, that does that. He does that for me. And if he does it for me, he'll do it for you. If you're struggling, um, you don't have to struggle. Um, but you want to stay very close to him. Very, very close to him. He will strengthen and protect you from all the things that will come against you um, that would make you think that you needed to go into the food today. And this is what I say to the world, the flesh, and the devil. I want to be well. I want to be strong. And I want to be mightily used by the Lord. Um, and I don't want to do anything that is going to hurt him. Um, I don't want to do anything that would hinder um, my effectiveness for working um, for him. Um, I want to do kingdom work today. Um, I know that Jesus loves me, and I want to love him back. I want to be obedient to the things that he has taught me. So um, let me pray uh, right now. Um, Father, you um, saved me. Uh, you saved me. I was uh, listening to the radio a long time ago and heard that gospel message. Um, it went right to my heart. It was what I was needing and what I had wanted so bad. And I thank you. Um, it's lovely to live a guilt-free life. It's lovely not to be beating up on myself or into self-condemnation or hatred or into the food um, because of the voices. The voices um, can't touch me. Um, you are all over me, and I thank you for that. And I do pray, Lord, you teach me, please teach me, um, how to effectively tell people about Jesus Christ. And that means teach me how to live what you have taught me. Live it out loud. In the name of Jesus, I pray. 
Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night or, you know, whenever you see this. Um, really keep that word very, very close to you. Remember that Jesus is the word. And as we stay in the word, we grow in our knowledge and love of him. All right. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.